Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play How to Fool Boyfriend with me, Rock Paper Mario, and we're getting a start on 6th class here, or maybe blurst class. How many class- like, seriously, how many- are there seriously going to be like 10 classes? That is it going to go all the way up to 10pm? And like, because look, I've just noticed this here, it's like 6pm and 6th class. Is it going to like be- sorry, there's like- my nose. Um. Is it going to, like, be one class per hour or something and go all the way up to 10? That'd be crazy. Like, this this is so long. Like, I, like this is like a game all of its own, like, you know? The doctor said he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a ba- What do you mean, does this building have a basement? The other one does, you fool. Certainly not one that appears on the official plans, but maybe. Under the medical center, but that one's blocked off with concrete. It does not seem to me that the medical center is an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basement there. Rides a shoe puff? I just realized there that that's what his voice sounds like. <laughs> is there anywhere you might have missed something? Missed something? Or forgotten something? Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh! Ew! That's right, the encyclopedia from the library in the medical center. And the chronology and, and the medical records. I'd like to talk to Nagaki again. You've thought of something? Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya. Yeah, where is Sakuya? Oh, here he is. On his own, with no Yuya. Like, seriously, like, no Yuya. He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. I can't blame him. I know how he feels. Jack, I know how you feel. Better leave him alone. Poor Sakuya, seriously, like, this is all- What is this? Don't tell me this is me. Is this supposed to be me now? <laughs> oh, great, I turned into a floating ball of gas. <laughs> I know. I'm worried about it, too. You are fading again. Where are you? Like, who is that that he's talking to? It's like, is that me? If that's the ghost of me, I'd like I think I have a right to know it. What is it? I found out a lot about the school and about you. I see. I suppose you know who I am then. Oh I like this music. I've missed this music actually. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That's why I'm here. The fire five years ago and the dome today? How are they related? Nagaki must know something about the secrets in the school. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so, or it might not. I saw on the school records it says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. Oh my god, just like that maid in American Horror Story. You stopped your... In other words, at the very least, I took my life through my own will. Wait a second. No, wait a second. What? Yeah, I was I was just going to say he died in the library. What's all this stuff about him dying in the basement? That's not where he died cuz like well that's not what I remember from his storyline anyway. So you didn't die in the accident? He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center and I I need a clue to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. The encyclopedia? You used to go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there with one here? Why would... That's what I want to know. I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know the encyclopedias here are out of order? There are two copies of volume 9, but no volume 6. The medical center has the same encyclopedias? Yeah, there are two copies of 6 there, and no 9. How disorderly. Yeah, that'd drive him insane. It's a wonder that's not after driving him insane here already with the encyclopedias. Anyway, one of the copies of Volume 6 there has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from here. Switch the encyclopedias. <gasps> oh my god, what's Nagaki after realizing now? It's it's like, wait a second, what's that game that I always wanted to play for the DS? There's like this DS game where you play like a ghost detective or something. Or do you know what this is like? It's like another code where I'm like solving the mystery with the help of this ghost. Mr. Kawara, try reading this copy of Volume 9. Looking's worth a thousand words, I guess. Well, what do you expect? You're gonna have to read something. No one's just gonna offer you the whole mystery on a silver platter. 
this isn't right. It looks like just another book when it's closed, but it's a box? <laughs> I offer you this box. It's full of files. Some sort of pump? They're all from five years ago. They're, these must have been... What does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hatterful. This is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans? It has the same title as to find the headmaster's office, but I never expected anything like this. Meaning, this school has been being used for biological weapons development for at least five years. 2180, new strains of Sumatera influenza isolated. 2183, a new strain has been isolated from Fujishiro Nageki. Its lethal to humans has been, has been named Charon virus, oh my god. It has entered research at St. Pigeonazion's medical center. Charon virus? Humans I met would always get very sick. Are you remembering something? Oh my god. Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone. Tell someone important what was happening. The center. What was it? My family. It must have been my family. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did I... Your help to see? He paces nervously in circles, rambling on to himself. If you've realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered... Remembered what happened here five years ago. Oh my god, I can't wait. Wait a second. I can't wait. What is it? I can't remember my parents' faces. I lived in an orphanage with other birds my age since before I could remember. I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently every birdie there was a war orphan. But I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I did not care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as it could be. One day the endless routine was broken, and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns, and kept shouting, Free humanity! Free humanity! I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They had come in and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought, but... Oh my god, Nagaki killed them all. Yeah, look, see? You've been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with my one remaining sibling, and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak and couldn't get a, go to school or get a job. I was nothing but a burden. And then I received the invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? He was being used, oh my god. Like, his genetics were being used as like... It's serious, it must be the doctor and like the Hawks party. There's a hospital on the school grounds. We will provide a room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I did not want to leave him, but if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition, and so I enrolled in St. Pigeonations. Oh my god. Like, seriously, I, like... Like, I, I knew there was, like, some, like, thing going on, but I, like, I wasn't expecting this, like, whole Nagaki is, like, the a typhoid Mary sort of character, seriously. I was weak, and so I often stayed in my room. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and the faculty were all very kind to me, and then, early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. This vacation is the perfect opportunity. Would you like to undergo intensive treatment? You will have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird in the school. And of course he would have jumped at the opportunity. And so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily examinations and numerous medications. I feel like so shitty for him. Like... Like, this is actually awful. Like, it's actually so terrible. A human would be brought to me. 
they would struggle and gasp and then with a last painful sigh they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone in the orphanage was killed by humans, and in return, I killed another human with each experiment. That's awful. Like, like it's terrible because like he doesn't know any better. Like he can't. He doesn't. Like he doesn't know like how bad something like that is because he's tainted by grief. Simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me, they would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart, little by little, and so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish I wanted. I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. Oh my god. And I suppose, like, that kind of explains as well, like, why... Like, that makes, like, the relationship between, like, your character, like, Harry in this case, and Nagaki even more cool, because it's, like, because it's, like, he was, I it was, like, almost like he was being forgiven by a human, almost, I suppose. The Charon virus. The deadly guest that made its home in my body. That is what they called it. No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hatful. Yes. What is up with my nose? Like, there's this weird kind of, like, blocked sensation. <laughs> oh my god, it's really irritating. That's why I... That's why I burned it all five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but... I am not here. But maybe, just maybe, there's still something left somewhere. And I can feel him close by my... Mr. Kawara, are you going to the basement? I, I don't have a choice. To find a way out of here alive? To find out why they killed Harry? I need to ask the doctor. I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh! A piece of paper folded up along with the files. This is... A map of the medical center. When I was there, I went in through the medical center... But it must connect to the main building somewhere near here. So that's so like. So wait a second. So did like Nagaki? If, if if there's like a passage between the basement of the medical center and like the school or the library or whatever, then like Nagaki must have like set the place to burn down, take the encyclopedia with him, with all the files, and came back here and then killed himself in the library. Is that what happened? I suppose. I believe it is in the chemistry preparation room. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nagaki. I have to go. Yes. I think you will be seeing me again. And... And what? Miss Cullen as well. Oh my god, is he seriously... Stop being... Stop predicting Ryota's death here. It's bad enough Yuya's dead. But as long as Sakuya doesn't die, I suppose. What happened to 6th class N? We're just going to go straight to 7th class? I guess we are. <laughs> just without a buy or leave. What are you doing here in the utility room? We don't live together in the utility room. A staircase in the preparation room? I've never noticed one. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> if the scarecrow went down there with the doctor, it would need to be a pretty big opening. We'll have to go and look. 7 p.m. already. We only have three hours until we're overrun with bloodthirsty humans. We don't know for sure if there's an escape route in the basement, but it's our best bet. Maybe we should get everybody from the gym to come with us as soon as we find the stairs. Layer flop to me! What are you going to do, ride the shoe puff over there? Mr. Lewan, I'll take care of the other students. Don't worry, I'm not a massive agent for- Will you stop saying the word massive? It's really disturbing. Well then, thank you, Mr. Wan. Um, you aren't going with him, sir? I'm going to come with you. We know- Oh yeah, what- Like, you're gonna be a big fat help, aren't you? You're, you're the most incompetent person in this whole game. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I am your homeroom teacher, after all. You've done such a good job so far. I want to be there to help you if things get dangerous. <laughs> yeah, big lot of help you've been so far. At least we have the stun gun, I suppose. Why didn't we use that on the doctor? 
What about you, Sakuya? Hmm. You two go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Right. Okay. We're going to get out of here together, okay? Too much has happened today for both Sakuya and me. I don't know what's on his mind, and he doesn't seem interested in telling me, but if he wants to be alone, that's for the best. I guess it's just two of us then, Mr. Nanaki. Finally, I get you where I want you. If something bad happens, one of us can come back to warn you and the others, Mr. Lawan. Understood. Commence Operation Breakout, it is then. <sighs> yeah, what happened to you, like, falling asleep all the- Oh, great. Just what I always wanted. There's- There's not gonna be a window left in this place. Uh, Angel? What does he want now? I don't have time for messing around. Yeah, we need this like a hole in the head. Texturous Melodia Funas, you travel now to the Abyss of Despair, do you not? Uh, the Abyss of Despair? I sense demon spores far greater in power than even those released by the Tree of Blight. I cannot allow you to face the dark sorcerer Wallenstein alone. The Wallenstein guy is the doctor, right? If my memory serves correctly, then yeah. Oh, uh, okay, uh... We're coming for you, Wallenstein! What about Oko-san? You have to bring Oko-san too. He can... he's... he's good in a crisis. He certainly is lively. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> keep picturing that, like... Keep picturing that, um... Gaston and LeFou. I think this is the first time I've been in here. This is where I got locked up. This is where they locked me in here. And the teacher knew something about it and wasn't telling the truth. Hmm, yes. Not a very friendly room, but not distasteful either. This place is flooded with demon spores. Any good bird would normally avoid it. Can you think of anything, sir? Like a hidden door, or... I don't come here very much, so... Hmm... Hmm... Do you feel a draft? A draft? There are no windows in here. It must be coming from the basement. <gasps> Why don't we just get Oko-san to come in? Oh, it's you and your crimson beast again. We must hold it back or the eulogy of doom will... Gate of Erebus, guide me to the abyss. Wait, calm down, Angel. You can't... Yeah, he's good at breaking things. I was just... I was just expecting that to happen. Like, that he just break something. So was behind the mirror all along. Who knew? He He's a lot more clever than he acts, isn't he? I'd say more, like, instinctive. Even if he does spout nonsense whenever he opens his beak. Even if he does talk like the Lion King all the time. Let us proceed, Texturous Melodia Funas. What a weird name. The Master of the Abyss awaits us below. <laughs>